So, on Madame Noir, this article was written about whether or not men can take women's actions, innocent actions, as flirting. Mm. So, I'm talking about actions like complimenting a man, complimenting him on a great job he did, yeah. maybe offering a seat, maybe just being polite in your everyday manners, and a man takes that as flirting. You've Has offered a man a seat? I have, actually. Oh. Well, I've offered him a line in front of me. Like, I've seen a guy okay, have, okay, like, yeah, yeah. less groceries, and I'm like, go ahead yeah, in front yeah, of me, you got, got a it. banana. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, always, <laughs> they always thank you flirting with them. That's the thing. Okay, so I <laughs> wanted to ask. Why? I want to ask, has that happened to you where they think you're flirting, and what did you do, and how do you feel about it? Well, you know, usually, like, um, before I started actually dating, I would go to the bars, and I would just sit and have dinner at the bar, because it's just easier. Yeah. And so it's always a guy, usually it's a guy sitting there, and I would just speak to him. I just like speaking and talking to people. And, you know, I would say 85% of the time, the guy thought that I was trying to pick him up. And I'm really? like, I'm not trying to pick you up. And some thought I was a call girl. I'm like, you, you, oh you my like, gosh. Are you serious? Seriously? Like, how do they respond? No. Like, what when do you, you think? Hey. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. They were asking some prices. Got it. <laughs> what? How did yeah. that make you feel when you're just... You're just being polite or nice, and then you got mistaken for No, funny. I tell them direct. No, I'm like, I'm just being friendly. Yeah, it's, right. It's yeah. like, I have somebody. Even when I didn't have somebody, I was like, no, I have, I'm, I'm in a committed relationship. <laughs> okay. I'm married. Like, I don't lie. That's what I would do. <laughs> Lonnie, you know? A lie to get out of it. Sure. Yeah. But you yeah. just brought such perspective into my life. What happened? What? Because I was thinking about this, and I'm like, have I ever done this? Or has somebody ever thought I was flirting with them? I actually have the opposite problem. I could have been flirting with somebody and they never noticed. <laughs> no, I swear to you, like, literally, I'd be like, hi, like, oh, doing all of it and they'd never notice. But then I just realized I have been mistaken for a prostitute multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I know this is so Wait, off how topic. Does this how? Happen? Please. You just said it right now, and I just yeah. thought to myself, I don't have the problem you're talking about, and I really thought about that because that's what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. But I have been mistaken for a prostitute multiple times. Break down the situation. Yeah, like, like what did they say to you, and how much did you offer? I told you guys <laughs> this story. I'm just kidding. I told you guys this story a few seasons ago. I was staying at Shutters in Santa Monica. Great right. place. And I Love it. left here, and put on what I come in the morning with, which was like a sweatsuit, mm -hmm. but I had all my makeup on still from doing the show. Shout out to Eva Kim. I had a crazy <laughs> winged eye. She was doing my makeup that season. She shouted out the makeup yes. artist. Yes, okay. I can't. It might be her fault why they thought I was a prostitute. <laughs> no, I love her. Wait. Okay. So I went and I checked into the hotel. The hotel was already prepaid for on Hotels.com. Okay. I walked in <laughs> and the woman who had like a French accent at the front desk would not let me check in. What'd she say, though, that led they, you to thinking... They actually were treating me as if I was a call girl trying to <gasps> do my business thing. How rude. I can't... I cannot make wait, this wait, stuff up. Wait, wait, did she tell you that, or uh, what? They treated me not very nicely. Like, pretty woman, like, not... Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. No, no, for real. I think it's because I had a lot of makeup on for television for the lights. Yeah? And I had a, my, a Louis duffel bag with me. Yeah? And I had, like, a, like a sweatsuit on. And they kept, I, they, I didn't have a credit card on me because I had lost my wallet, but I had my, my ID. Yeah. And they would not let me check in, and she kept doing this. You, you know when somebody thinks something, Sonia, you know. You know. And let me tell you, and I called my mother. My mother had to uh, use a credit card, another credit On the East Coast, by the way, three hours later. So I was calling my mom at like one o'clock in the morning. Are you sure they just didn't have a problem with the fact that you had no money? No. It was prepaid for like, like, Hotels.com. I had proof and a confirmation number and everything. Uh, uh, sometimes they have to see. That, that's, I, yeah. No, they hey, thought I was no, a prostitute. Wait, sometimes they have to see the credit card. They're always yes, asking. I always get asked proof for a credit card. Of, I so Googled I had to my, my mom name. up in the morning. She had to fax the picture, everything. They were still giving me a hard time. Oh. And, uh, uh, we called the next morning, and I pretty much asked to speak to the manager, and I was oh. like, I was treated really badly. Damn. Like they did, like I was treated. I, I don't think that they thought she was a prostitute. Yeah. They thought you ain't had no money. That's no. Not, <laughs> but that's not the only I time that's happened that. to me. I've gone to hotels be my next before question, so. and stood at a bar waiting for somebody, or whether I was waiting on Israel or yeah. something, and I have been um, what asked, like what? Approach. Oh, yeah. I have been yeah. approached. Yes. Of, yeah, like how much or how long are you here <laughs> girl, for? No, but girl, this is, haven't you watched Dateline? This is when you reel them in. 
Really? Yeah! I'm like, how? I mean, so I'm, I'd be scared, y'all. I'd be like, no, oh, I'm come at waiting me, for man. my... I'm an advocate against trafficking. I will be there. I will give you rates. I will tell you where to meet me. I Someone will lure said you that, in there. Because I was like, I had oh. a ring. Like, you would think that they knew I was married. Yeah. They say actually prostitutes wear yeah. wedding rings and yeah. engagement rings. Like, yeah. that's part of their cover. So do yeah. thoughts. It's a real world yeah. out there. They all yeah. do. They do, right? Like, yeah. fake engagement rings is a thing. Yeah. Okay, so that was my prostitute thing. I just wanted to get oh, that off okay. my check. I thought I should share that. Okay. But I got you. I got do you. you. I feel like Dang, Tam is such what? a nice person that yeah. guys would absolutely think you're flirting no, when you're not. No, you guys, I was prostitute. such an awkward, awkward dater. Like, believe it or not, I didn't know when the guys were interested in me, and I didn't know what to do if I was interested in a in a guy. That's so weird to yeah. me. Yeah, really? but, but I'm very sensual. sensual. Yeah, and I'm very sexual. sensual. You are. But yeah, I I just I don't know. But I, you're so nice. I know. I, they never were running after me like that. Mm. And I talked about this on the reel. Yeah. I think it's because maybe they were slightly intimidated because I was the girl from Sister Sister or whatever. Yeah. I never knew. I yeah, mean, they, the they, coolest... They couldn't come at you like Wait, that. Yeah. Did you yeah. ever play alongside someone on Sister Sister and you were playing the role and they actually thought you liked them? Because uh... your acting is so bomb, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, thanks, Adrian. <laughs> no, that's never. the thing. No, Even never. the guys that played your love interest, in life. No, if Strong anything, medicine. I had a couple of crushes, but again, I was so shy, you guys. I was so shy. I I, I didn't know what to do. So which is no the reason guy. why I'm so happy, Adam. Adam was just so direct. He was like, listen, look, I like you. I was like, I like you. Let's do this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes I love it. It really should it. just be that simple. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember. I swear. So for seasons, right? Yeah. I remember hearing from you, Adrian, and yeah. you weren't the only one from my friends that I was I came off flirtatious. And it yes. actually offended you me. You did. What? Okay, so I heard it from both ends of this table. Everybody yes. told me I was flirtatious. <laughs> Good to yeah. know. I'm sorry I offended you. <laughs> no, no, it was just no, no, offensive in a in a way where like, no, I'm not, and you're like, yes, you are, and you're yeah. like in denial that you are, right? Sometimes it really does take somebody you actually care about and yep. respect. And not that Let I don't respect know. you guys. No, wait.